Wake me when the war is over. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And wow, just a, a real snoozer. We would think at some point we might get some action, but it is not to be. The markets were mixed to higher today. Uh, we, we saw the uh, the Dow spiking higher, which what does that say to you? OK, now, if you think about it, what does it say? Well, what it really says is that the trade wars are probably coming near settlement. OK, that's what that message is, is the higher Dow, which has stocks like Caterpillar, Boeing, Deer and those which are directly related to what's going on with trade is high, is the highest, is the strongest. Now, in the long term view that's not a bullish sign, that's more of a bearish sign. But for today, it pushed the Dow higher. So the Dow was up over 100. The S&P uh, was pretty much flat all day, it had a little bit of a late day rally. The NASDAQ was near around that unchanged up and down all day long, and we'll see exactly where that closes. And the Russell, very similar, up and down and a little bit higher. But we're, we're just stretching out. We're in the longest bull market in history, or I guess Wednesday, Marks the longest bull market Wednesday, tying it in with the Federal Reserve. Okay, and speaking of the Federal Reserve, as much as I support President Trump, and I do, uh, I'm I don't really like the fact that he's trying to convince Chair Powell that we need to have lower interest rates and they need to stay lower. This is going to create a much bigger problem. There's going to be a problem. Okay, there there is no question that we're going to have a meltdown at some point. Now, again, as you know, and I say this almost every day, even though there's going to be a big soft, the markets are going to go up 8% year over year on average, but we're going to see a pretty good haircut. And when everybody continues to tell us that this time is different, even signifies a bigger haircut is going to happen because we know that the retail trade is going to get trapped as it has done in history. This is not different today. It's not going to change. In the meantime, Gold looks to have found a little bit of a bottom and had a nice little $13 rally, you know, today. Uh, you know, we're right pushing up against that 1200 level. So is our 1180 held? And I would expect to see uh, probably 1210, 1220, and then it'll probably sell back a little bit. But it does look for now that we have bottoms in place. Silver's a little bit stronger, so that was good. The dollar is a little bit stronger. And of course, our, our black swan event remains the same. Three and a half percent tenure. A dollar at about par, that would be the, the big signal for me because you're seeing these emerging markets continuing to get clobbered, which is a, a very simple thing of saying that they're, the, the, the contagion, the money is not going to be able to pay back. And that is something that's going to happen. You're seeing what's going on in Venezuela. They, they've, they've devalued their currency by, uh, they, take, they just took five zeros off the value of the exchange to the dollar. So this is, again, each one of these events by itself is no big deal, but are a big deal in, in the bigger scheme. And you're seeing that play out in the bond market as the bond market is rallying. Uh, it shouldn't be, but it is. And again, we're not saying it, it, it's not going to go higher, uh, but the bond market was up almost a full point today. So that is pushing interest rates down. And that is, again, part of the manipulation game that the Federal Reserve plays. And I will, we'll see again. They, they have never been right yet especially at an exit, I would expect this time not to be different. I would expect them to screw this up as well. The grains were pretty much mixed. We took a pretty big hit today, but when you look at the price of wheat, it's up from, it's up over a dollar. So are we really concerned about a 15 or 16 cents off? I wouldn't think so. Uh, beans were pretty much flat to unchanged, up a teeny bit. Uh, corn was up down a little bit, but again, I, I wrote this over the weekend to those who subscribe to my farmer's newsletter. And I said that I figured the grains would be a little bit lower along with the meats. And sure enough, the meats were a little bit lower and the grains were a little bit lower and not a big surprise. I, again, you, you have to understand how the markets function. They're not going straight up and they're not going straight down. So let's be prepared for what happens there. And, and of course, Bitcoin was a little bit higher. And again, we're still big fans of, of the cryptocurrency space, knowing that there might be a few bad ones out there that we may buy into. But overall, we're going to continue to try to diversify through different cryptocurrencies 
and look for the ones that are best for us. And, and right now, I'm looking at Stellar, I'm looking at IOTA, I'm looking at EOS, okay? I already own those, but I'm looking to add on and buy more. And I'm also looking at the Kinesius coin that we looked at that I actually interviewed the, the owners on, on the Bubba Show. But in the, in the meantime, it's quiet. There's not a lot to do. We're not going to get overly aggressive here as volatility is starting to melt down again.